real self-love is calling yourself out on your own shit in order to grow. Oh my god, why can't we allow women's bodies to just be? When we look at photos of fit moms, we should see misogyny, not a virtuous self -nary. Misogyny? About talking about how a person who is pregnant is, you know, still working out and moving, which is healthy, you shouldn't just be sitting around, but you understand there's a, there's a real big difference between someone who is uh, pregnant and someone who is obese. Just because she has a big belly doesn't mean she's obese like you, Karen. Health has no place in body positive. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! What? They actually said it. They, it took over 12 different episodes of Fat Logic for them to finally say that within body positivity, you guys are completely ignoring health. Oh my god. Is it Christmas already? I want women to take up their space regardless of their size. I want them to roar with the ferocity of a lioness, and I want them to feel like they can finally breathe. But this can only happen when we start to remove the corset of society that is crushing our ribs. I am part of the revolution. I refuse to be a part of the fucking problem anymore. Hashtag fuck flattering, and also hashtag she's a goddamn beautiful mermaid. Somebody wrote this. Somebody sat down at their desk, opened up their Mac laptop, and typed this onto the internet. I want women to take up their space regardless of their size. It's funny, because you guys can't fit anywhere. The ultimate slimming effect. Soft touch maximum recovery. All in one. You know what's extremely not cool? Plus size pants that are like, We'll promise to slim you and we'll provide maximum recovery. From my own body? Hey, anyone? Your body is great. Don't be insulted by pants. Literally anytime I think that they're gonna run out of things to complain about, there's always something new. Okay, so now they're talking about how pants are attempting to make you guys look better. You realize when you're obese, your skin and uh, fat is a little bit in, uh, uneven. So you have rolls. These pants try to squish those rolls into a smoother form, like how you form Play-Doh. Uh, and you're mad at the pants for doing that, so you want to walk in skin-tight jeans filled with rolls so you look like a goddamn children's toy. <laughs> it's time to talk about thin privilege. It really isn't, though, to be honest. I'm so tired of the thin privilege argument because really it's just fat people being upset that I'm able to do something that they can't. My boyfriend's parents' cat is that large. She's been taken to the vet regarding her weight, and they say she's completely healthy. She even eats the recommended amount. She's just fat. <laughs> oh, Lord. Could you imagine comparing your body physiology to another species? You realize, I don't know what vet they're talking to, because fat cats and fat dogs are just not healthy. They'll, you'll ruin their spine and bones and joints, but whatever. You realize you're comparing your body type to another species' body type. I don't understand the... Uh, what's similar? Uh, I'm confuzzled. This might sound way dumb, but I'm feeling a small victory over diet culture. I didn't measure out my salad dressing today. Hashtag small victory. Um, guys, this bitch, you still ate the salad, which means I get diet culture still won. You, you ate food that'll help you diet. That'll help you lose weight. In what way is this a victory? Oh, how many calories does salad dressing even add? You are dumb. This person is stupid. Plus size women make their men secure. Husbands will always be secure with their chubby wife as other men do not always pick them as they're not seen as attractive as the skinny ladies to some people. It takes a special kind of man to handle a voluptuous woman. And she knows it, so she'll never stray away from the right man. He will be left with a feeling of comfort towards her as he can go away from home and not worry about things like being cheated on. Already we got ourselves a weird flex. So you're saying that plus sized women are better for husbands because no one wants to date plus sized women so she'll stay faithful. That is sad. That's nothing to be happy about. And also imagine bragging about being someone's port of last resort, essentially. They're not leaving you because they can't get anybody better. PSA for 2019, please stop faving and retweeting before and after photos of weight loss and putting it on the timeline. They're incredibly triggering for people in an eating disorder recovery. 
and they frame a narrative that fat people are merely before photos. Stop putting that shit on my timeline. So this is future Aylaris, all right? Um, look at this timeline. Look at this entire thread. I was going to read this, but I don't think you guys want to hear this. Essentially, she is talking about how she does not like the fact that other people consider, well, most people consider, being fat as the bad portion of their weight loss journey. Don't know why, but that's just how she feels. She then goes into a tirade about people blocking her when she would go onto their timelines and talk about how posting before and after pictures of themselves were bad. She was mad that people even had the audacity to block her on Twitter. I was going to read this, but I just chose not to. I said it on like the fourth tweet. I don't know why people behave like this on the internet and think it's okay. It's absolutely annoying and no one cares. No one gives a flying. Whoa! There is no superfood that will cure your ableist fear of disability. This is an interesting one because I'm sure a lot of people are afraid of being obese. Or a lot of people are afraid of losing their legs in an accident, and those two things are disabilities. So I guess my fear of those two things make me ableist, and if that's it, I guess I'm ableist! I need to remember this saying the next time I go to the doctor when they give me a problem. I'm fat, but I identify as skinny. I'm trans fat. That's actually funny. I like this one. This is a, this is a smart post. Good puns? Woody pun. I like it. Oh my god, girl, have you heard of Nested? She's a super annoying, ugly twig body posting with a lit cigarette for aesthetic. Tell me more about how fat phobia is about health, please. Also, fuck twigs. I hate them all and I hope they all choke. Now, let's let's put some a thought in your brain. I'm gonna put a thought in your brain. Let's say you had a conversation about this, but instead of it being a skinny girl, it was an obese, ugly woman. You guys were just clowning this person on your personal uh, Facebook DMs. Now, let someone screenshot that. Would you lose your job? Would you uh, get kicked out of college? Would you lose your friend group? Yeah. If there's a yes to any of those answers, congratulations. You just discovered a double standard. For real, when did it become socially acceptable to come after people who are skinny, who are healthy? When did that become the bad thing? Thinness ain't an accomplishment. Weight loss ain't an accomplishment. I know y'all hate fat people and fatness so much that you believe that size of your body should be praised and congratulated over. It really should be praised, because, I mean, I'm approaching the normal. I'm not abnormal like most fat people. I'm over here doing an accomplishment and changing my body for the better, and yes, I'm gonna post it on Instagram. I'm gonna go on Facebook and talk about my weight loss journey, because I deserve to be, you know, congratulated. I should have some of that social reinforcement for doing a good thing. Stay fat and autonomous. Health isn't a requirement for dignity and respect. When planning your resolutions, please remember, it's okay to stay fat. Don't let this person pull you back. I know a few of you guys, well, I'm, I know a bunch of you guys on my channel are watching my videos, the Fat Logic videos, for encouragement. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys started your New Year's revolution, res oh my god, not revolution, resolutions <laughs> to lose weight. Don't let people like her, which I know it's a her, pull you back or stop you. I understand, they, they want to stay fat. They want to mire in their laziness and their self-loathing, all that. They want to stay in that because that's comfortable for them. Don't let them change that for you. You keep going on your journey and you keep pushing because I believe in every single one of y'all. You guys are going to make a, a good effort. You guys are going to make so much change in your life. I'm excited for you. So excited. Don't let people like this stop you. Once you understand the extent of magical thinking that tends to be tied into the fantasy of thinness, you can understand how threatening it is to consider the idea that you may never get the thin body you crave. Linda Bacon. Isn't it funny that a fat logic comment is coming from someone whose last name is Bacon? I'm just gonna point that out. That completely, <laughs> that completely takes away the credit of this statement. Also, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's uh, it's saying that it's magical to lose weight, but whatever. Just the fact that it, the, the quote is coming from someone whose last name is Bacon takes all the credibility away. That's not, that's it. Mm. Thin Love is telling facts that they ain't not going to live past a certain age like they know. Also, what age is it? Because one second is 40, next is 50. <laughs> There are fat people alive and well over 40 years old. And it's funny to see y'all believe thinness somehow saves you from death. You understand that there are individuals who are 60, 70, 80 years old who are obese. 
but are they living their best life? Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all answer that question. Is it better to live life at a healthy weight at such an extreme age compared to someone who's living at the same age but also suffering from joint pain, um, muscle spasms, probably loss in feeling in their extremities because they are obese or suffering with diabetes? Food for thought. New Levi Sculpt Weight Leggings. Shop now. Oh my god, don't put the smaller girl front and center. Even when a company tries to be diverse, it's never enough for these people. Well, who do you want in the center? The biggest girl who can't fit? You're not being fat positive. Being fat doesn't mean you're not healthy. That's fat phobic. Hope Reddit bans this bigot. Probably a white male too. Huh, <laughs> Nazi. Oh, and then she realized you got three down votes and then said, That's literally what it means you want it! Like, oh my god. <laughs> she gets so upset when her ideology gets challenged. Whenever you feel like you hate your body and want to try to fix it, remember, there are people making money off your insecurities. You know what? I understand where this one's coming from because, you know, fit tea and uh, diet tea, stuff like that will not do anything for you. They are kind of, you know, feeding off of that scare of, oh my gosh, I'm trying to lose weight really, really fast. I understand that. Although, dieting isn't an insecurity. Individuals, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to say it is an insecurity. You're insecure about your body because you know it's bad and you want to change it. And some companies will exploit that. So this is correct, but are they wrong in promoting something that will ultimately make you feel better? Because you're only feeling insecure because you know that your body type is bad. So make it better. Lose the weight. You are fat phobic. If you believe that it's the fat person's fault for being fat. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Maybe eating biscuits and gravy was cheating on my diet, but maybe going on my diet was cheating on my biscuits and gravy. This is funny. <laughs> I like this one. I pretty much see anybody who's disciplined with food as a big red flag. Oh wow, who knew that having a principled mind and a little bit of constitution was a red flag? Girl, it's not your body that's wrong, it's the world that's wrong. Yo, this is literally the talking points of any fat activist. This is probably the motto of the fat logic lifestyle. It's everybody else's issue and problem, and that's why I'm fat. This is really important. Read it out a few times. Health is not an obligation. You're right. You're not obligated to help yourself. You're just not. We can't force you to go to the hospital, but you really should if you want to live longer than 50. It hurts seeing skinny girls with no personality get into serious relationships when I'm modest, smart, and fun to be around, but I can't find one guy to love me just because I'm bigger. You're the type of person to say that no one dates you because you're full-figured or you're voluptuous, right? Or maybe because you're a little too thick? Yeah, whatever. No one finds your obesity beautiful. Nobody. And also, how are you so smart and fun when you literally call your skinny friends or skinny girls uh, not into, like have no personality or just have lacking personality. Yeah, you're a fun person to be around. You're nice. But yeah, your biggest issue is your weight because no one finds that attractive. Actually, a lot of people find it quite disgusting and ugly, like yours truly. Being fat improves physical intimacy by making you more cuddly. Oh god, I never want to see ever again a picture of fat Trixie Tang. Oh lord. Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you enjoyed the video today, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam, so you can see the rest of my content and my future content. And this is a big message to everyone who is subscribed, past and future. Please make sure to uh, hit that notification bell so you can get my content on time. That's been an issue recently, and I know I'm trying to solve that, and I know you guys subscribe for that content, so I'm sure you want to see it. So make sure you want to hit that bell. Also, this is the first video for the Saturday schedule so now I have Sundays and Saturdays that are good for reddit videos or something else that you guys want to see so be prepared for those notifications and as always thank you to my patreon supporters that is Nora, Pro Cookie, Tattooey, Catherine, Simon Possum and Any thank you so much for your support it is greatly appreciated oh yeah and as always stay zesty